Okay, let's learn how to build it. We just need some cutting boards, four magnets, a drill bit, and it's better to have these plier wrenches. We're going to drill 1964th hole in all four corners of the cutting boards. If you look close, you'll see there's mold marks in all four corners. And that's exactly where we want to drill our four holes. That way they match up from board to board. Once you do that, on one side, just slightly countersink one end. That's going to help us press the magnet in from one side. So just barely countersink just on one side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the magnets and a very handy tool called a plier wrench. And we're just going to press fit them in. I'll try to edit that out. So it's important to match the polarity if we want to make multiple boards and have them stick together. So just use one board as a reference or just put all your norths facing up, you know, because of maps. Then we're just going to press them in, starting from the tapered side. That helps the, uh, the press fit just start a little bit easier with that taper. Now don't worry the magnets aren't flush all the way. We're going to fix that. The The height of this magnet is just a little bit less than the thickness of the board. So we want to recess it a little bit on each side. And the way we're going to do that is with a felt pad. But you can use felt, a piece of cardboard, a little strip of rubber. Just put it on one side and squeeze with the plier wrenches again. And that'll force it down a little bit and kind of split the difference. That way the magnet is recessed just a little bit on each side. That way it doesn't shatter when, you know, you don't want it to hit metal. If you slam it on metal hard repeatedly, it may shatter. So with it recessed a little bit, we won't have that problem. And this is just another brand. The first brand was Knipex. This brand is uh, Jadori or Gadori. I don't know how you pronounce it. They're both German, they're both top notch. If you wanna know which one I like better, go to the uh, website and I'll tell you. So all the links and material um, are on the, the web post that I'll link in this. Tools, material, pictures, the whole deal. So if you get the polarity right, they all stick together, transport kinda of easily. So it's, it's nice to have two. So now we're going to do some laser engraving. This is just a cheap laser engraver I bought. I didn't do a whole lot of research. It took a lot of trial and error to get some acceptable results. Here um, is my folding shelf, magnetic folding shelf. I got Once I got the results pretty good, I started uh, etching some of these. And I'm actually just showing it off right now is all. So full web post on how to do that as well. It's, it's a lot stronger than it looks. So in any event, the etchings came out pretty good as well. Um, they take a long time though. If you look in that bottom right corner, I think it says 179 minutes. It's not even finished yet. So that was one thing I was not prepared for when I bought this, how long it takes. So you pretty much have to put it in a ventilated area and safely leave it for three plus hours. And that's that. So you can check out this and all the other builds and links on my website. And if you found the content useful, a thumbs up and subscribe goes a long way to help with the YouTube algorithm.